Vince, thank you so much for your time uh, today. I really appreciate it. Um, as you. you know, uh, we've asked a lot of people to vote on their favorite bands from uh, Belgium in the 80s. Um, yep. Almost 60 bands got votes. Um, there's a lot of bands that a lot of people still like, um, but I'm happy to share with you that uh, Steel Lover not only made the top 10, but actually was uh, uh, number eight out of all oh, these bands. Uh, that's pretty pretty amazing to see for amazing, a band yeah. that had um, only one album, although it's a phenomenal album from the yeah. 80s, um, that the band is still so popular today and, and, and people really like Steel Lover and very excited to see what's going on in, in the reunion. Um, what's your reaction to, to getting so many votes and, and is, does, that, does that surprise you in a way or, or, or not? Uh, what's, your, what's your feedback on that? My feedback, for, uh, I'd like to say uh, thank you very much for all the votes. The fans are still behind Steel Lover and I hurt my heart very good. Uh, what I'd like to say is I think that um, uh, people appreciate Steel, uh, Steel Over because Steel Over did a, um, a special kind of hard rock metal uh, kind of um, commercial, easy, simple. And with our uh, um, my, my friend, the guitarist, the lead guitar, Pat Frazen, uh, we, we always work together to do to compose and to 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 do all the arrangement and it has the really good feeling to do things very simple nice and we did it that way we did what we had in our heart and i think uh, uh at that time uh, when we played they most of the people like it they want to buy uh, an album then they grow up with it and i think uh now they're older and they put it back on and yeah. they're listening to it i think uh that's maybe why good souvenirs yeah. you know yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. Um, I'm, I'm an example of somebody a little bit younger that rediscovered Steel Lover after you guys were at, you know, the peak of your popularity. I, I was around when the album was created, but was obviously very, very uh, young at that time. Um, so I didn't, I didn't get to uh, experience Steel Lover in the '80s as a band yeah, playing. I was too young for that. But at those, in those days when you were, you know, uh, with, uh, uh, with the band. Um, I know this can be a difficult question, but is there is there one memory for you that stands out that that you will never forget? You know, when you do um, music, I think it's not only one memory. I think it's so many, uh, each time different levels. But I think at that time, the the best thing for me was that happened to me is to play at Foreign National with Kiss and Bon Jovi to open up the show. This is memorized for my life. I die with it. You know, for us, it was very, very uh, uh, happy for us to to, to play uh, those big boys. You know, they're very, very good, and uh, we were knocked down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. all the band uh, with uh, Nick and and uh, Pat. Now we still talk about it. You know, uh, we love them very much. Uh, I think that it's in our soul now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome, awesome. I think I uh, recently read um, a review from a, from a newspaper uh, at the time uh, of that uh, of that show uh, when yeah. uh, when Kiss and this newer band Bon Jovi came to came to Belgium. Yeah, uh, with Steel Lover opening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, awesome. I, I I remember uh, Bon Jovi um, when we went to to the stage on, on uh, Foreign National. Uh, there was no more space to put our drums on the stage. Uh, Johnny moved to drum, their own drum and put ours, you know, it's amazing, that's professional, you know, you, you can't forget that, that it's a hit for me. Yeah, yeah. Very yeah. nice. Awesome, awesome. So, um, a lot of stuff has happened with the band. I mean, the, yeah. you left the band at, at one point, the Donny Clan joined the band as a singer for some time. Um, in the uh, later years, we've seen a few different lineup changes and, and, and the band came back in different, in different ways. Now, um, you know, uh, Vince is back as the singer um, and uh, a proper reunion comeback is being worked on. Yeah. Um, what can you share with all the people watching this video? What's coming our way? What should we expect? Well, I think a steel lover will stay steel lover. We're um, same people, you know. We have a new lineup, but we have three persons from, from the 1980s. Nick Gardy, me, and Pat Friesen. 
as I told you before, Pat Friesen and me, we work all the song together very strong and uh, we keep this feeling still over from, from 1980s and we're doing it now. We've already wrote some uh, songs and some are practically finished. We have we hope to, to finish the LP for, for, uh, for the end of the year, uh, January probably. Maybe you can make a gift for Christmas. <laughs> At that time, or Happy New Year, nice. you know, you don't know. <laughs> but uh, I think we've done a good job, and uh, still, again, with uh, Pat Friesen, a very strong melody on guitars, you know, very good talent. I think together we can do something very good. Now, for the new lineup, uh, we have uh, two new members. Uh, one is the drummer, uh, Nico Papalos. He's uh, uh, from original from uh, Poland. He hits like a son of, son of a bitch. He's very powerful. He's great. And we have uh, a new lead guitar, uh, Kellen Pichu. He's from Romania. And he's uh, a metal heavy, uh, very strong guy. Very, very nice guys. And we're going to do an album that's going to volcano. It's going to wow. Awesome. Yes. Awesome. That awesome. is rock and roll. <laughs> All right. Oh, God. Can't wait to see that eruption coming at us. Um, that'll be great. You'll win something for sure. All right. Awesome. I hope everyone likes it. On the album, there are going to be some songs from Glove Me and some very new songs or half, five and five. It's going to have 10 piece of song together. It's going right. to be very, very good. There are a few songs that, that um, make me as happy as playing forever from steel lover you know when when, <laughs> when you uh, when you start counting off you know and and the song starts playing that just puts a big smile on my face and uh it's, it's, it's what, i always yeah. i always love it yeah thank you very much yeah the other time when you said uh you love uh forever or whatever remember you said we don't know who sings the album is yeah. it danny klein or is it vince I, said, I yeah. tell you, it's Vince. <laughs> it's really me, rock and roll. Exactly, exactly. Oh yeah. And, and so, and what what I said at that time was like, let's just, let's just assume it's Vince, and then he did a phenomenal. Yeah, job. very nice. Thank you. Yeah. But awesome. I really appreciate Danny Klein. Don't worry about it. That's no. Problem. I mean, she, she, yeah. she she's a, she's a great singer in her own right. Absolutely. Um, she's done yeah. her own career, and I'm very happy for her. Very nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would like to say very, very, very good. Uh, thank you, you, for doing this uh, interview. We appreciate it very, very much. And I listen most of the time your interviews. I very, very like it. Very oh, strong. You. Powerful. Thank you. thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. And it's my pleasure that I get to talk to uh, to all these oh, legendary bands from Belgium. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, um, I'm, like I said, I'm. I've always loved Steel Lover, um, and I can't wait to see the new material and see you guys play live. You are awesome for watching this video. Click right here to see more content like it, and subscribe to the channel.